we wait a day, a week, a month to go after what we want. We can't do that anymore. I'm talking about urgency. I'm talking about not wasting any moments, right? And what I use as my analogy is chopping the tree down. Right. I remember when I was when I was in high school and then when I was in college, every summer was like was like two. It was a dichotomy. It was like I get two months to train right for the next season, which excited me. Right. I can get up in the morning. I can go run. I can come back and take a nap. I can go lift. I can come back, take a nap or, or, or eat. I can go do my drills in the evening. It was a full day of getting better, of being BTY. I've been doing BTY, guys, since, since 1987, 1990 for sure. Right. But, but the summers were great because I knew I didn't have school. I wasn't working yet, and I could just spend all day getting better, training and eating and lifting and running and getting better for football. Right. And the same was true in finance. I remember I didn't go anywhere without a book. I didn't spend any time without going through Excel and, 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 and learning new formulas or watching a video or doing something to get better. Right. I had an urgency about me and my dream. And I knew that I couldn't let any days go by without wasting, uh, without getting better. I couldn't I couldn't waste any moments without without capturing and moving forward in, in my dream, in my pursuit. Right. And so that was what I talk about. Urgency. That was an urgency at its fullest. And now as I get older and I find new dreams and new passions, right, I got to make sure I apply that same vigor and that same urgency to it, right? I want you guys to do that as well. I want you to imagine that your dream, your goal is a big old tree, right? A big old tree. And the bigger the dream, the bigger the goal, the bigger the tree, right? And every day uh, or every three days, whatever you, you, you have time to go after your dream and your goal, you have one, one opportunity to swipe and chop at that dream, right? And, your, and the size of your, and the sharpness of your tool might be different, right? I might have an ax, you might have a butter knife, right? Depending on your skill level and where you're at and what you're doing and how far you are. But the opportunity to, to sever at that goal, to chop at that goal, to, to slice it up a little bit each day is always there. And so we can't waste them because right now you have X number of opportunities between now and, and your dream, right? If you're a football player trying to go to college, you might have 200 147 days left to get better, right? You might have 117 workout opportunities to get better. If you're trying to go to college or be a doctor, you might have you know, 300 days between now and medical school to learn and grow and be confident and get ready. So whatever it is, you might have, you know, 724 days before your, your next reunion, right? Whatever it is, it's number typically. And usually there's not enough time left or not enough days left as it is to get to your goal or your dream, right? You go into Hawaii in six months, you might need eight months to get ready. You might need nine months to get ready. So we can't waste any of the opportunities. So when when life gives you the axe on every third day, or when life gives you the butter knife on every day to chop at this tree, right? You can't waste that opportunity, right? You can't do a half-hearted swing at it. You can't do a half-hearted slice at it. You have to give everything you have every time, every chance you get to slice at that opportunity because you only get them so often. Right. And you already are behind the eight ball. And so every summer it was a dichotomy. I was so excited about getting ready for the season. Right. But I knew every day that passed by, that was one less day before the season started. And it was a, it was a nervous feeling on day two, really, because I started off with 90 days and then I had 89 and then I had 88 days. And every day it was an urgency about me that I wanted to get better. And I knew that I couldn't waste a moment. So I want you guys to, to have that same passion about, about your dream, the same urgency about your goal, the same vigor about chasing what you want out of life. And don't let any day go by, right, without grabbing that ax and swinging as hard as you can at that tree. Because the tree is big. I hope it's big, right? I hope the dream is so big that it scares you, that it, that, that it makes you nervous. But if it's big, Right. We can't spend a day, an opportunity when life gives us a, a, an axe and just do a half hearted swing at it. Right. And then say, OK, I'll see you again in two days. Right. You're trying to lose weight. Right. Twenty pounds by a certain date. And you have three chances per week to work out. You can't waste the Monday one. You can't waste the Wednesday one. You can't waste the Friday one. Every one of those are integral. Every one of those are, 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 are important and urgent. Right. Every day you walk towards your dream is urgency. It's a 911 emergency call every single time. Not some of the time, every time, unless you're almost there, which you're not. 
None of us are, right? So attack it with purpose, attack your dream with urgency and attack it with the passion and the vigor that you and I both know is necessary to make it a reality.